Hello guys, once again, welcome to my channel. And uh, in today's tutorial, uh, I'll be showing you guys how to create a version, which is uh, equivalent to a release. And we're gonna link it up to a story on our Jira board. So this is our Jira board and currently we are on our product backlog. So on your left on your board, you see all the different columns that you do have. You have your own map, you have your backlog, your active sprint, your report the issues, you have components, then you have code, which is mainly for the developers. Then here in your Jira board, you have your release. So we'll be trying to create a date through which we can kind of like deploy, know when we are able to deploy. So you can see here on my uh, current backlog here, there's no release attached to it. So we'll be creating a release and we'll link it up to a story ensure that our backlog stays healthy so that once you look from a glance you can see the story that we do have and when we are anticipating uh, to get that to production without uh, any time to spend so immediately once you have that privilege you might be in your organization you might not become a, like the jura admin so you won't have privileges to create release so if i once you are in this board click on this release then what you see here is you see this start visioning. So now when are we able to ship? You can see here, when are we able to, do, to release? So releases in the Jira board is also known as versions. So don't be confused between the two. Each time they mention a version, they're also talking about the release. And what is a release? Uh, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any update regarding all these cool things because we'll be building all these things in subsequent videos so once you click on your create version now this is gonna pop up here so currently we're in august so we can just call this our 2022 dot august release so most organization ideally they deploy monthly so it's always good to go with that uh so that you won't put the developers on pressure and at the same time you're delivering value so since we have have this as august we can therefore just like backdate our release from the like from the first of august and then we can end it like ideally wednesday the 31st of august so we can just have our short description here so yes i'm just gonna use it yes but one key thing that you need to put under this description is in all your sprints that you do have, your sprint uh, vision, your sprint goal, you can set them up here. What are you guys trying to deliver? Maybe it might be phase two, it might be phase three, it might be phase four of the given project that you are working on. Once you click on now save, automatically now you can see that we have a 2022.august release. So it's one way you can create another version. So we can... Uh, Let's go back into our backlog here. You see a little icon here where it shows version. This is also the same as release. So if I happen to click on this version by my side here, you can see here where it says create version. That's also another shortcut which you can create a release on the Jira board. So if I happen to click on this, now it's going to ask me what's the name that I want to create. So is it like version for project two or whatever? So the name here we can just call it September. September release. Now, so we can just put it here as test two, <laughs> and we can stipulate the date here. So this can begin like we can push this over. Uh, this is uh, let's move it to September, September first. Then the end date, we're still going to push it again. September, let's just put September 29. And then we're going to click our create. Sorry, start date cannot be before this. So, oh, I see. This is 20, 2022. Oops, 2022. Let me back here. All right, there you go. So this is September 1st. 
2022. Then we are able now to create. So we do have now two releases. So we've created our August release and we've created our September release. So to ensure that your backlog stay healthy, like as I mentioned earlier, you need to ensure that both your releases are connected to your stories. How do you do that? It's simple. You just drag and you drop it. So we're going to put this in our August release. You can see it already appears here, August release. Then we can bring this down here into a September release. So we know that these two stories are what August and September release. So these two stories that we do have here, you can also drag and you drop it in August. We can drag this and drop it in August. Since this is a, like an example in an active sprint. So all this stuff that you do have here, you just drag and you drop. So we are already building our backlog here. Okay ensure that we know when these stories are going to be released so once you come into your backlog you can see how healthy your backlog is when we talk of backlog health we ensure that every story has a release it has an epic and it has a story point to read so to pay you for the upcoming sprint once you end your sprint so guys this is where we're going to wrap it up for this uh, tutorial if you find this video helpful the thumbs up like share and above for subscribe to this channel so you wouldn't miss any vibes on Algeria world really appreciate you as you do so uh, thank you